The people of Eziag local government have passed a vote of confidence on the newly appointed Commissioner for Works and Infrastructure, Engineer Gerard Otiji. In their separate speeches during the celebration of Otiji's swearing-in ceremony, the people unanimously extol the sterling qualities of Engineer Otiji and express confidence in his capacity to contribute to the development of the state. <laughs> Speaking on the occasion, Vice Chancellor Godfrey Okoye University Prof. Charles Anieke described his childhood friend as a smart and intelligent person, noting that his appointment is one of the decisions the governor made. Interestingly, he happens to be my childhood friend. We entered secondary school the same day, the same year. We were barely uh, 11 years and uh, we are the youngest, we are the smallest at school. And uh, it was quite interesting because uh, we were going to school with big boys and of course you would expect that they would be harassing us. But because of our smartness, they, would, they, should, they we are not able to you know, make us very small the way we looked. So we've known each other and again, he was a master servant, I was not. And now the master servant did not become a priest, the person who was not serving has become a priest interesting part of it so we shared a lot of uh, things together as young boys growing up i feel the same year he went you know going to, went to germany i went to austria he started engineering i started theology i became a priest he got married and we're back here to nigeria so it's quite an interesting you know yes, relationship so father having known him this much what can you say about this current office do you think you can deliver i think the governor has chosen one of the best for any way state he is very smart he is very focused He's very spiritual. He is an engineer in the real sense of the word. So we have somebody who is going to transform any section of Enugu that is actually actually charged. Also speaking, Oko Emmanuel Onyeka Okurora Ndibo expressed confidence in the commissioner's capacity to drive the vision of the governor for the state. He's a man I've known from far. He's a schoolmate to Professor Christian Anyeka, my VC. Okay. I've known and admired him from far and I'm seeing him for the first time and it happens to be a day he's celebrating his appointment as a commissioner uh, in Enugu State and I met him and he was telling me things about me that I don't even know that he's aware. One of them was uh, an announcement I made that resulted the uh, past government of Enugu State to remove uh, the barrier to a uh, government house there beside road and I was very happy meeting him for the first time and I'm sure he's going to apply his excellence in Enugu because we want Enugu to work and that was exactly why all of us came to campaign for Pitamba. And uh, he's made a lot of uh, right decisions, and Engineer Gerard is one of them. The PDP State Vice Chairman and Zonu Chairman Enugu West Senatorial District, Ozo Oke Ozari Chieze, described him as a humane, hardworking man, thanking Governor Mba for finding him worthy to serve in his administration. Engineer Gerard Otije is the newly appointed uh, commissioner that will be sworn in any time from now. Uh, he's from Ezag, he's an engineer and a very humble person. He's very human and hardworking. He loves uh, humanity and uh, he owes truth to himself and is a mixer. So that's why I can see exact people here to facilitate with him and also thank His Excellency, the Governor of Enugu State, Dr. Peter Nibisimba, for finding him worthy to serve in his uh, administration because the OTG can deliver. He has been delivering. Also speaking, retired permanent secretary Dr. Moses Otiji said his brother has the knowledge and intellect and is very critical in his approach. Well, um, Gerard is my brother, a younger brother. Um, when, you when you talk in terms of capacity, I think he has all the capacity. Uh, th there's no better way to describe his capacity as being superlative. He has the energy, he has the knowledge, he has the intellect, he has the urge to move forward. And in whatever thing he does, he does it very excellently well. So, that is a short description of him. And again, don't take away the humanity aspect of him. 
He's a man who doesn't like seeing anybody suffer. Kanayo KK Agonachiochi describe him as a cushy gentleman who is dependable and capable of doing an excellent job. Jerry, is, I've known him since primary school to secondary school and university. He's so dependable. He's a consummate gentleman. He always looks out for other people, you know. So he's just the kind of person that this is befitting to and should um, be honored this way. I have no doubt at all that he was going to do an excellent job. And, um, and if he does it, I will tell him. <laughs> That's what friends are for. And um, yes, so we will, um, this is a very good day today and we celebrate him and he's well deserving of this um, position. And I trust that he will um, take care of business. Honorable OK, Anthony Mba believe that OTG would be useful in helping the state government achieve tomorrow is here mantra. You know, OTG is a, is a very good friend of mine. He's very resourceful and I believe he'll be, he'll be very useful to, you know, championing the, the goals of the new administration. So I have explicit confidence in him. That um, as the ESCO is inaugurated, he will contribute his quota to helping uh, the administration achieve the tomorrow is here mantra. We are very happy and grateful to God. And we really thank uh, His Excellency Barista Petamba for deeming it fit to appoint Iji uh, Nigeria Adotiji as one of his commissioners and member of the State Executive Council. Uh, during his inaugural speech, he said uh, it is a uh, business unusual. The appointment of Gerardo TG is merit driven. He's a com uh, competence personified. He has something to offer. It is not the issue of my tone. I think uh, he will add value to the governance of uh, Enugu State. I think uh, it's a plus to the administration. Truth is that if I start describing this man, a lot of people will get confused. But what I am sure is that I'm sure that I'm very sure that this is a man that people begin to appreciate when they continue to interact with him. Some people that have interacted with him before now can attest to the kind of person he is. But I know because he has come now to serve the public, a wider range of people will now be, get interacted with him, and. The, most of them, most of them that are sincere, will by the end of the day appreciate God for having given us a gift like him as a commissioner. He's a great person. He's an achiever, what you would call an achiever. You know, someone that gets things done. It doesn't matter what the odds are. You know, um, he's a very determined person, very upright. You know, um, someone that doesn't give any excuses. That's, that's just well put it. Uh, he is totally on merit. In Gerardo TG is the person that all of us know. So this is what we call, he deserves it. And we equally thank the governor for just remembering him. And uh, exactly in general are happy. Yes. He's an amazing person. Uh, we worked with him during the election and he showed a lot of commitment. We see him bringing in a lot as the, our incoming uh, commissioner who will bring the need of the Ezea government. He's a very dedicated man, honest and humble. So people want to I have said, I have described him as a perfectionist. That means he has been delivering, and this one will not be an exception. He will deliver. He's my mentor. He's a man of integrity, a man of with a typical character, a man that has gone over the whole world. So he has, he's coming to Enugu as a godsend. The governor saw something in him and brought it on board. And with his capacity, any position he found himself in the ministry, we believe he will not to the development of Enugu State, but to the people of Eziago and at large. Anything I say about Jerry Otiju will be partial okay. because Jerry is like my younger brother. I've known him since childhood. He was best friends with my younger brother growing up. And I watched them grow as very honorable young men. They 
did all the things young men should do and had all the experiences and in their adulthood they became exemplary they he is exceptionally gifted so i think it's a very great benefit to enugu state and i'm saying this in all seriousness not because it's my brother i'm saying this because in all seriousness there are very few people from our own parts who are as smart, as exposed, as brilliant, and as straightforward as he is. Jerry Otiji Bonye is the Agab Monyut. And Ndu Dinezia a special relationship, Anna Bwabaja, which includes some part of Oji River, some part of Enugu North and South, and even Igwe Titi. So, and uh, I'm one of the Abaja spearheads. So, Otiji's appointment is special to me in more ways than one, you know, apart from family. The important thing is what he brings to the table in the state of Enugu Executive Council is phenomenal. Earlier, Enugu State Governor Barisa Pitan Dubisimba swore in the 20 commissioners, reminding them of his commitment to the state's exponential growth, rapid provision of social economic infrastructure and human capital development in the state.